We're not letting one Jewish kid fall to the wayside. I mean, there's time in, in history where, where if you didn't fit, you had to just go. So we don't have that anymore. Now, every single Jewish kid has a place. Our place is the place to be because when you approach a rabbi, say you want a job, they got me a job. When they put me in school, they put me in school. Whenever you need something, they're there for you. The 5K is not just a fundraiser. It encompasses everything we do in our place. The idea is we have kids that are not feeling good about themselves. I came as a young teenager when I was very lost. And in certain aspects, I'm still a little lost and our place is still there by my side. And now that I'm back here as a volunteer, I'm here to help other teenagers that struggled with struggles that I went through. Guys have been told they're worthless for years and years and years, their whole life. They've always been that kid in the back of the room, in the back of the class, who, you know, was told you're worthless. They really care about us. They sit down with us whenever we need anything, whenever we're down or anything like that. They sit with us, they talk to us, they make us happier. I, we pray over here, Mincha uh, and Arvit, whenever there is. We put on tefillin. We treat every member of our place like it was our child. We, we, we sit down, we, we have staff meetings about each kid and try to figure out if this was our child, what would the next decision be? What would we do for this person's life? Like any family, we struggle with money. And we need to figure out how to make it. The way, we, the way we make our money is by fundraising. Fundraising event that's coming up, the 5K, we raised over $100,000 last year, um, carried us for many months, um, did really great work, and uh, brought awareness that other people, even that didn't give money in the 5K, helped us more. There were over 400 people signed up to run. People signed up, never even heard of our place before. They signed up, I want to help this cause. They heard about it. It's $180 to, to help. I always want to run. I always want to be moving. I have my, my life's in one piece. It's, I know that at, you know Monday 9 o'clock in the morning, I have a time to go running. But what motivates me about these guys is you know they, they, their lives are being tossed up and down by, by roller coasters. And they still they make the, they make the tremendous amount of effort to come here to, 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 to enhance their lives with this with a small act of fitness, but it, it's a whole bigger picture. They feel pride, they're wearing a uniform, they're going out, they're running, they quit smoking, they are, they are feeling better about themselves. When they're feeling better about themselves, they're going to make better decisions. They're not going to beat themselves up anymore, and they're going to get, Mez Hashem, they're going to get back into society. That's the goal. The purpose of the 5K is not only to raise money, which is the obvious that we need, but it's really to let everybody know what really goes on down here. People drive by, we're on Avenue M, we're in the center of Flatbush, and people don't necessarily know what it is that they're driving right by. It's a quiet little place, but yet down here in our place, the world is alive. And I need people to understand and be aware of what it is and what it takes to get the job done. Our place has taken the bull by the horns and really have turned this, this, this entire kids in pain around. You're about 15 years old. I heard there's this place for me to go where there's a hot dinner, where there's a place to hang out and a place to be. And I come here, volunteer my time, so, so I can be here for these kids, so I can give them what was given to me as a teenager, a loving, caring environment where they can be comfortable, and that's why I come to our place. It's just the joy of seeing these kids change their lives around, seeing kids come here, the worst of the worst, and a few years later, walking out happy people. Several years ago, the government, when the government was making cutbacks, you know, we got chopped pretty heavy. Um, therapy, we used to do for many, 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 many of the guys, we try to get into the best possible therapy they could get, and we've had to cut that out a massive amount of money. Our budget is close to a million dollars now for the three programs that are currently being run. Um, it's servicing over a thousand kids a year. Uh, in this program here, we're in the boys' program, we have around 700 kids a year coming into the program. It doesn't include all the people that are coming, that, that are calling, and parents that are calling and all the other things we have to deal with, 24-hour hotline that we have to deal with, emergencies that happen that we never even meet those kids, we just have to help them. By that, we have to pick our various resources that we have, whether it's drug, drug counselors or, or uh, social workers or GEDs or all the other various uh, aspects of, of that we look at in a child and when we're doing whole life therapy with them and say, okay, this is what you're going to need. 
So that has changed immensely over the years, and it's really, it's, it's, we're, our place is at the forefront of gathering that information and doing something with it. The issue is self-esteem, and we have addictions, we have all these other issues, but really it comes down to self-worth, how they feel about themselves. The 5K has been, has been a way for us to express what we do in our place, where we take a kid, and we've had, we started this running team to prepare ourselves for the 5K and other races all over the country, which we plan on taking the guys to. And the running team is a bunch of guys who literally were sitting down doing nothing with themselves, feeling terrible about themselves. Really like if you could describe someone being in the gutter, that's what it was like. And we said, you know what? Every Monday night, we're running, we're preparing for this 5K.